very funny performer. Uh, she runs a comedy showcase every Wednesday in the Mission. It's called Comedy Bodega. There's so much great comedy that's going on around San Francisco. You gotta go check it out. Please, a big round of applause for the hilarious Marga Gomez. Thank you so very, very, very much. Uh, my show is actually every Thursday. Uh, but, you know, big deal, because you're all drunk. You're not going to remember anything about the fucking show. But this show is the fucking show. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Yo, the cigarette was lit by Mario. I don't even smoke. Um, I think that that was uh, a very emotional, poignant, beautiful moment, or many moments we had just on the stage with, uh, with Father Sarducci and Mario. And after something so sensitive like that, I think it's time to bring on the Latina lesbian. Don't you think? Yeah. As a favor to uh, the 10 comedians who are still gonna go on tonight, who are amazing, I'm gonna do four and a half minutes which is 30 seconds under my time. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, but the real reason I'm keeping it short is that this is a rental <laughs> from Liza Minnelli. Please don't be misled by my cleavage. I'm not married to Marilyn Pittman. Oh. Thanks, Marilyn. I am actually a single uh, lesbian. Uh, there aren't too many of us, but we do have a bar that we go to at South and Market. It's beautiful, two stories, Trader Joe's. Uh, anybody go to the Folsom Fair yesterday? Anybody go to the Folsom Fair? Ah, there's my freaks are here, my freaks are here. Yes, I didn't go, because I'm not a freak. You're perverts. Uh, no, no, I don't go to the Folsom Fair anymore because it gets so awkward, because I'll see people that I know. <laughs> and I'll have to pet them. Uh, actually, the last time I was there, there was uh, an old friend of mine, and uh, it was so sad uh, because she had a booth. Um, she is actually still uh, trying to get her dominatrix license. And she's not cut out for that uh, profession, dominatrix, because she's very nice and very polite. And uh, that's, that's not what you ought to be as a dominatrix. You gotta be mean, you gotta be cruel. So uh, nobody was really going to her booth, and uh, people who did, uh, they kept getting loose. Uh, <laughs> and she had a bad dominatrix name, uh, Mistress Tammy. That's, you know, you, you really gotta have a scary dominatrix name. You gotta be a scary woman. You gotta be tough and hard, because you're gonna get you know, powerful people in there, like Kevin Camia in your dungeon. <laughs> Beat the shit out of them. You gotta have a really scary dominatrix name like Condoleezza, something like that. <laughs> but no disrespect to the, uh, to the uh, leather BDSM community because I believe that sometimes bondage is the only thing to keep two people together. <laughs> I watched the Republican National Convention on HD. That's right. I'm doing very well. I watched it on HD and I saw everything. I saw too much. The RNC should not be on HD. It should be on something more blurry. <laughs> but here's what I learned. Here's what I learned. That Mitt Romney is not going to be president in 2012. He is not. <laughs> By watching the people at convention, there are not enough white people to elect Mitt Romney in 2012. Yeah. Oh, it looked like there were some people of color at the convention, if you had low-definition TV. <laughs> but I had high def, all right? So I saw, I saw the people of color, I saw the Latinos, they were computer-generated, all of them, <laughs> okay? I caught on, I said, hey, what's Dora the Explorer doing there? <laughs> that Asian is cl clamation. Uh, that was hard to say. It's hard to say. <laughs> All right, here's the political issue that's burning in uh, California. Breastfeeding! Yeah. Breastfeeding in public. All right, I think that there's a time and a place and I, I'm okay with it as long as babies aren't involved. <laughs> and moms, please don't breastfeed your child publicly when you're on BART, under the map, and I'm lost. 
because that's how I wound up in Orinda. Uh, the, <laughs> nobody could hear me scream! Um, now, um, the other question uh, with the breastfeeding controversy is, uh, how old? You know, you saw that Newsweek cover with the woman breastfeeding that very large child. And then the question was, how old is too old to breastfeed? I don't need to buy Newsweek to find. I know when it's too old to breastfeed, when it can text you. <laughs> I stopped smoking weed six years ago. That's right. I got baked every day for 20 years, every day for 20 years. And then one day I said to myself, And I stopped, that was it. <laughs> I said, no more weed! Until last week. I got stoned last week with some of the young comics. I got stoned and I, I, and, and I realized it was a mistake. You know, because like the young comics, they were all like, you know, looking like real stoned and, you know, kind of dumb in a sexy way. And I wanted to look like that. But it doesn't work that way when you're older. You know, you're getting stoned when you're 20, it looks sexy. When you're 50, it looks like Alzheimer's. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna just uh, tell you one uh, last story, but before I do, I do wanna show you, I have a lot of things. <laughs> I've got 100 flyers in my tits right now. That's, yeah, I'm sorry, that's the truth. But this is the show that I do, it's Comedy Bodega. It's, uh, it's in a real shithole in the mission, uh, but it's a really nice shithole. You know there's shitholes and then there's nice shitholes. And uh, I perform, uh, uh, I produce this and I perform at it every Thursday and we have some great comedians. And, uh, and, and uh, the stage is right behind the urinal. And you know, <laughs> <laughs> behind the urinal, you know, that's, that's something. In front of the urinal, that's bad. But behind the urinal, that's better. Uh, so, uh, so do, and our ladies room there is better than the one here. The ladies room, <laughs> ladies, I don't know, guys, I tell you, the ladies room, I don't even know, but there's just this big puddle that's been there for years <laughs> on the floor. I don't know if that's for me or not, because I'm going to tell you this last story, and it's my purple onion story. Um, I headlined here, uh, and uh, I don't remember it. it, it was told to me. I headlined here uh, some years ago, and, uh, what, oh, would, would you like this? It's got my uh, breast milk on it. Uh, <laughs> um, and, and what happened was, um, I was really excited to breastfeed at the, at the wonderful Purple Onion. I mean, I, I love this club, I love Mario, and I love everything about it. I love their Italian beer. I love that bartender. He said grazie to me. It's like, it's almost like being bisexual the way he said it to me, uh, for me. Uh, but maybe it's the sequence. Uh, so, so I had a stomach ache, I had a really bad stomach ache. I didn't think I could go on. And then um, this comic who was there, he's not here tonight, but he was a wonderful, he's a wonderful guy. He's, uh, he's a big guy. And uh, he said, hey, it's okay, you're gonna be all right. Take these pills. And uh, so he gave me these pills, and uh, it, uh, like a handful of them. And I said, well, that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of pills. I don't know what they are. And he said, oh, it's okay, you can take them. They're baby Valium. I don't think there is baby Valium. I don't think that exists. <laughs> I mean, like, what kind of baby would need Valium unless, <laughs> unless you're working for Apple in China, but otherwise. <laughs> um, so he said, it's okay, I take seven of them. You're smaller, take four. So I took four. I went up, this is a true story. I did a headlining set. All I remember is getting off stage and people saying, are you okay? <laughs> I was so out of it, I fell up the steps to the ladies' room. Uh, and then I found out it was something like, like you know, a really like in-demand pill like Oxycontin. And, uh, and really, uh, this is just my lesson. I, I regret to this day that I took all those four pills because I could have sold them and gotten money. Thank you very much. I'm Margaret Gomez. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, Purple